Hello and welcome. Um, I just wanted to demonstrate a piece of hardware I'm developing. It's a water vending station controller. It has controls for both washing and filling. And the reason we have developed this is so that you're able to account for the water much uh, easily. You find that um, it's difficult to track how much water was used for rinsing, how much water was used for filling, how much was spilt. So here we are putting, we are getting the game higher on the vending station by developing a technology that captures in real time all the water usage, all the transactions, so that they can be accounted for easily. So uh, we have the hardware. The hardware has a GSM modem. Uh, that one. Uh, it has uh, two controls for relays. One is for washing, and the other one is for filling. We have connectors for the sensor the pulse uh, input for the sensor we have an input for keypad so that you can key in whatever values that you want to sell we have a display for uh, showing the status of the machine and so now let's uh, simulate selling so to sell press zero and then we enter an amount let's say a hundred so depending on the liters, uh, shillings per liter that you have set, a certain number of liters is going to be uh, filled. So here we go. Okay, so uh, we have set the price per liter at uh, 20 shillings and so we spend 5 liters. So this can be changed uh, by editing and it requires a password so that uh, it's a protected uh, parameter of the machine. And so now looking at the online system, we have uh, this account where the customer will log in and they will be able to see uh, how their station is going on. Uh, so here we have the uh, uh, a means of resetting this value. This value tracks the amount of money generated since the last time it was reset. Let's say you're doing your record keeping once a day or once a week. You log in into your account. You'll find here uh, uh, total uh, sales since the last time you updated the system. You reset the system and you, are, you can be able to reset the system here. So I'm, I'm going to demonstrate a transaction. So yeah, this is the current uh, status of the system. So let's uh, generate a transaction. We're going to sell. So let's uh, sell. Let's sell a hundred shillings worth of water. So the transaction has already been captured and the money has been updated. And so now if uh, we go If we go online and edit, let's say we collected the cash, now we reset the uh, the system to, let's say, zero. The next time uh, a sale is made, it starts afresh. That number starts afresh. So we can now do another sale of, let's say, 10. You see the new value is here so you can be able to track the sales and um, 
be able to tell exactly what's happening on the vending station uh, and, and that way you can maximize the income that you're getting from the station here we have uh, graphs of the activity of the activity that's happening you can see uh, the, the various uh, you know just graphs to show the activity so that you're able to tell how busy the station is and now this will ha help you in collecting all the cash that's uh, generated on that station and it's able to distinguish between uh, the, the amount of water that was spent for washing and that one that was spent for uh, for actual selling all right thank you